What's up, everybody? This is Laser452 here, and I got you guys a debloat video. We're going to go ahead and debloat the LG V20, and I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the apps and what apps are free to freeze. And I'm sorry that this video took a while for me to put out there, but there was a lot of experimental things going on with the LG V20. It's not as simple as the V10 and your ordinary other smartphone, but yeah. I finally got it all through, I'll figure it out, and everything's been running just fine on my phone, and uh, I'm just like quite happy that I can get it debloated. So we're gonna show I'm gonna show you how to uninstall the apps and which apps are to freeze. So let's get right on to it. I'll see you guys in the cell phone right about now. Bye. <laughs> All right, so we're on our LG V20, and I'm going to show you guys how to install a file, and then we're going to show you how to freeze some apps, and we're going to uninstall apps. I am not going to do the whole uninstall progress on this phone, nor I'm going to freeze all the apps, because I am going to switch from this V20 to my first V20, which has everything on it. So let's go ahead and do our first one. When you guys charge your phone or use the phone, you guys notice that the phone is being a piece of crap that decided to start lagging. So, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. As I mentioned, I was in a very hot temperature area in South Carolina getting the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse with my LG V20. And even though that phone was running really hot, there was no slowdown at all for taking pictures. I was also making phone calls with my girlfriend and not have a single problem at all. So, let's go ahead and install that first file. First, what we're going to go to do is we're going to go to the Play Store. Type in ES File Manager or Explorer, I'm sorry. As you can see is the blue folder. And then just install it. Once you have it installed, go ahead and click on it. Start now. And we're going to click on the menu off to the top left and we're going to go scrolling down to make sure Root Explorer is checked. Right now mine is checked so yours will look like the ones where it shows gesture, show hidden files. So make sure you have it checked and uh, it will uh, prompt you with a super user and all you got to do is branch it because that's where we're going in this phone as we're going to go into the root directory on this phone. Now the file is in the video description so once you get that file, download it, put it onto your SD card and put the SD card back on your phone. So here we are in the home screen of ES File Explorer. We're going to go click on our SD card. You will see Thermal Engine 899. I think that's basically all of its name right there. And we're going to copy it. Now, if you're afraid this is going to screw up your phone, be sure to back up your copy of the Thermal Engine and uh, place it somewhere where it's safekeeping and I'm going to show you where that is but you can always go back to your SD card and copy that file there we're going to go to local we're going to go to device we're going to go to system etc and if you want to uh, copy your copy of that file it's somewhere towards the bottom named as the one you see I'm not gonna copy uh, and make a backup of it because for one I do have a copy of one and two I know this ain't gonna screw up my phone because it's been fully tested by me and I'm pretty sure of other people I will never put your phones in danger so if you trust this you're gonna go ahead and hit paste and we're gonna overwrite the file this will recommend a phone restart. So all you got to do is just go to your phone and just power it off, power it back on. And now we're going to go show you how to um, uninstall apps. I used an application for uninstalling apps, but I do not use them no more because I've had issues with it. So it has pushed me down to manually uninstall apps. And if you want to know where the application's uh, directory is, link to SD will help. We're going to grant. 
And this is also the app that you're going to need. Files in the video description. And let's say you want to uninstall a system app. I am actually going to go look for one. One of them that's safe to uh, uninstall. Let's say you do not want Google Drive at all on your phone. I would use Google Drive, but if you don't and you don't want Google Drive on here at all, you can freeze the app, which is all you got to do is tap down on it and hit freeze. Or you can go to where the file path is, system app drive drive dot apk, and you can uninstall it manually. And after you are done uninstalling the apps, like un like deleting them is what we're going to do, is you're gonna to have to reboot the phone. Uh just to give you guys uh caution, do not freeze or uninstall any apps that you plan on using. As for other apps, you can uninstall them. This video is to show you which ones are safe to uninstall and which ones are not safe to install, uninstall, and that is also safe to freeze. As other everything else, I have tried to debloat this phone as far as I can go. There will be some features on the phone that will be disabled, such as the LG Media Center. I do not know which file that I have frozen that causes it to not to work anymore. So, if you are uninstalling or freezing apps, be sure to check to what things you love to use on this phone. This phone is very, very picky to what's being taken off. And trust me, this was very difficult for me. So, we're going to go to ES File Explorer. And we are going to go into Device. And just like I said, where the file was at, System, App, and we're going to look for drive. Right there is drive. All I do is tap and hold on to it and I tell it to delete. I delete the file right off the phone. Now if you come back on your phone and you're like, laser drive is still there on your phone. Reboot the phone. So now let's go over to the video and I'm going to show you what apps are safe to freeze and in the, if there is not an app in the the video that you have on your phone, it is safe to uninstall. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go to my first LG G bleh. <laughs> We're gonna go to my first LG V20. Alright, y'all. Now I'm gonna show you what apps are safe to uninstall and what apps are safe to freeze. If the app does not exist on this screen that you're gonna see me going screwing scrolling through my apps, if you do not see the app. That is on my phone, such as 360 wallpaper, would say that never existed. You know it is safe to uninstall the application. As you can see, the thing that says about second screen, that is something that is also safe to freeze, but it will not be recommended to uninstall or you're going to be facing problems. So, remember... If there is an application that you do use on this phone and on my phone shows that it does not exist or is frozen, do not uninstall the app or freeze the app if you use that application services. So I'm going to shut up, I'm going to play some music, and I'm going to be scrolling through this whole list right here of applications so you know which ones are safe. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
right, so once you get the app sound installed or frozen, then all you gotta do is reboot your device and those apps that you've uninstalled manually will be gone and the apps that you have frozen will no longer boot along with your device.